Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. The Broncos are a point and a half favorites. Tough loss for Cincinnati yesterday. Tough, tough loss. Back-to-back losses. Cincinnati on the verge of the playoffs here. They come back in San Francisco. They get the field goal, and then San Francisco finds a way to run down the field. I mean, too many turnovers. Uh, bad plays on both offense and defense. And now they're, they're they're falling out. They're falling back a little bit. It's the offense is so inconsistent for this team. That is, I feel like the biggest problem. Um, even though, like what we see from Burrow and Chase, it's just the offense just itself cannot get it going consistently for 60 minutes or back-to-back games. And it looks like Cincinnati's not going to make the playoffs here. Then you have Denver, and what a win that was for Denver. You know, playing tribute to the Marius Thomas. It's Detroit, so it shouldn't be that much of a big. But there were people that thought this could be this could be a win for a Detroit here. That Detroit could definitely cover the spread because it was a huge spread. But Denver really did what they needed to do in this game. They really they paid tribute to the Marius Thomas in the best way they could, dominating on offense, dominating on defense. They're seven and six. Huge game against uh, the Bengals here. We'll see if they can if that can sustain that momentum. I think both these teams have concerns and problems. I'm liking Denver here in this game. I think Denver's just a little bit better on the offensive side, on the defense. Um, well, I think especially on the defensive side. And Cincinnati just cannot put it together consistently on offense. So I think all of that is going to lead to a Denver win here. Minus one and a half. It's going to be a t- an interesting game here between two teams that are battling for a playoff spot. But in the end, I think Denver has got the offense uh, that they're going to need to win this game. I think Cincinnati's offense struggles, and I think the defense for Denver carries them here in this game. Give me the Broncos minus one and a half.